Go back to Immortal. Try Fractal again. Standard size. From the first stirrings of but yeah, like, uh, how do you counter that that aggression early on? I mean, we built we built a builder and a settler. Other than that, it was non-stop military units, including getting the boost towards archery. So we got archery quite early. Fractal might might be janky. It certainly was historically, and I mean, one of these things with Russia is you do get to start with a lot of tiles, but it is always going to be in the tundra. What's the base production on this tile? That's eh, not bad, actually. Alright, let's do it. So, again, um, I could go scout first instead of slinger first. Maybe we'll do that. I do like the early slinger for helping with the barbarians and for popping archery. But let's go scout first this time. Let's check our productions. Man, that'll produce faster, but... I'm going to lock this tile instead, so we get a little bit more growth. We do get the extra faith, which is nice. Um, what do we have near us? We have the sheep. We do need mining, but we do have, yeah, a lot of pull towards animal husbandry, so we're going to get that first. Oh, this time it updated the uh, the science numbers right away, which is interesting. Um, like, I'm partially wondering, do I just send the warrior up here? And just guard against barbarian bullshit. I'm not sure that made much of a difference. Well, it hurt a little bit because their units were pulled out of position by Congo. Or before Congo attacked. So I don't know. A tip in from Strails. Hey, thank you very much. Also, I missed one from Katie Cat. Uh, well, Quill, you seem to be getting your butt kicked. Yeah. Here's some pie as a runner-up prize. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Strails says, thanks for the refreshing Quill defeat. Learning vicariously through you so I can kick my friend's butts tomorrow. Thanks for hours and hours of entertainment. Yeah, we're on Immortal. We're on Immortal again. I'll, I'll check out the north. God damn, this... It's all just empty tundra. Which means we're gonna get barbarian swarmed the entire game. I mean, I guess I could settle up here. I'll have to check the coast, see if there's at least fish. If there is, it might be worthwhile as, as um, Russia. But god damn, because no one's gonna be up here. So it's gonna be all barbarians all the time. There's a more fish, at least. If we do re-roll again... Oh, hello, city-state. And we get a free envoy with you. That's nice. What's your quest? Send a trade route. All right, I think I, I'm going to settle in between here at some point, just as an anti-barbarian method. Or, like, prevention. If I go here, I could get the crabs as well. Yeah, I mean, going south is probably better for, like, meeting people and also finding more uh, settlement spots. But, yeah, I'm a little concerned. So I'm going to set my warrior a little bit somewhere in the middle. Well, there's no camp here now. So i got to send my warrior back because you know the barbarians spawn right away or very early on. So there's probably a barbarian encampment over here that's going to get a scout now. Which is annoying. Alright, speaking of scout, there's ours. I think I will follow this up with a slinger, though. <laughs> this reveals nothing because of the hills. Poop. Alright, you're gonna go there next. Oh! What? What? Wait. Where the hell did you come from? Up here? I mean, that's the only possibility. You must have come... There must be a barbarian encampment here, and he swung down that way. Yeah, I love this. Just as this happens, Civ5 Freak says, With Nan Madol next to you, you'll probably be safe from barbs just west of St. Petersburg. And then suddenly barbarians. I mean, maybe the barbarians will busy themselves with the city-state. That's a possibility. Ugh. It's the pits... I'm going to go here. Hills give a little more vision. I was hoping to reveal some interesting stuff on the coast, but that's not to be. Uh, I'm going to move here and then hit you. It's important to remember you can move adjacent like that. It doesn't end your turn. It stops you from moving further, but doesn't actually end your turn or eat your movement. I am fond of pigs. Yes, you're fond of pigs. Oh, and Kotalaz as well. So... 
I kind of want survey, but I think we got to go discipline early on. Because we have faith automatically from Tundra, I'm not going to take God King this time. I will take the bonus to production, because we are going to get a Pantheon regardless. So it should be okay. I do really want an early Lavra. Horseman unit. 35 strength. Requires horses. We get a boost to it if we build a pasture. I mean, I'm still wondering about, you know, just getting the basics down here that never have a rush. We could halfway re re uh, rush, uh, research something. There's something to be said about horseback riding. It's pretty high-end tech, though. It's pretty expensive. It takes a long time. I'm going to start researching astrology. I might let it finish. I might not. I'm not sure. Should check what tile that second citizen is working. Yeah. I mean, I'm still tempted to do this because the food is good. But the production doesn't hurt, and that is our faith point. Well, we're getting some faith over here. No, growth is more important. Do that. All right. Where the hell did the scout go? Must have gone north. Well, plus I want to check. Where the hell did he come from? Where's the barbarian encampment? Erg. Um, I kind of want to see more coast, but I think we're going to go just a little deeper in here. Horseback riding is high end 10. Well, high end tech. At this point, it feels pretty high end. Still 20 turns to grow, even with the extra food. Oh, no, 9 turns. Okay. It hadn't updated the display yet. I'm like... Oh, god damn. Well, if I go here, at least his zone is a control. He can't go through me. And no, he's going to be boxed in. He's going to try to probably move to the right. And that he'll only be able to move one square. So we'll get him. Bastard scouts. I think I want to come in here. Oh, yeah, that's mostly revealed. Oh, but then I'm out of movement. I'm going to do this anyway. Because next turn I can go up in the hill and then move one more if there's flat ground over there. So yeah, still finish the slinger. Really would like to get the um, the archery Eureka. But slingers are crap. Like, I suppose I could just hard research archery and then do things. So we're not going to go for the super early settler. Well! I don't know. I, to a certain extent, I still like it. So the question is now, do you build another scout? Do you build a builder? Do you build a warrior? I think the builder, as much as I really want to go and improve stuff, I think it's going to be too hard to defend the builder. I think... We got to go with another warrior, because I'm betting there's going to be barbarians coming over here, too. Hey, Tipsy Engineer, thanks for the tip. We're all watching your stream here at work. Thanks for the best kind of procrastination. Excellent. And Gish Hunter. Uh, hi, Quill. Really enjoy your channel on YouTube. Don't get to Twitch so much. More booze and sugar can be a good thing. I agree. Yes, and then chat does not really agree. I mean, we could straw poll. There's a fair amount of requests for builders, though. Builder, Builder, Warrior, Builder, Settler, Slinger, Scout, Builder. I mean, another Scout could be, it's effectively sort of half a Warrior. Now a lot of calls for Warrior. Yeah, so it's it's so hard to know. I think I'm going to go for another Warrior. I want to uh, uh, secure my space, then we'll follow that up with either a Settler or a Builder. I mean, the AI, what's annoying is we know at this point the AI already has their second city, because apparently they start with another freaking settler. I call hacks. Alright, I like all these mountains. That's good for, well, several things. Okay, no, seriously, where the hell that... I mean, maybe the scout came from the other side, walked through Nanmandal. That's possible. In which case, that's very good news. You are going to scout up over here. Alright, so far, so good. Where the hell are all the barbarians? Now this is feeling weird. Like, it feels like there should be more. More barbarianism. Ah! Ha 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 ha! Gotcha. Alright, let's move up here. See if we can get... Oh, goody hut. See if we can't get the kill with the slinger. In fact... Since there's no other people around, I'm not going to prioritize getting the Goody Hut, even though it can be really handy for lots of things to rush. But I'm going to make sure we're in a position to get the Killing Blow with the Slinger ASAP. Ooh. Very 
interesting. Alright, well, whack you this turn. There's a little bit of unknown over there, but I think the thing to do will be to come down. Let's go into the forest first, see what it reveals. We got rice, we got, wow, we got a good city spot there. So yeah, I could pop the goody hut, but no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up here. Because next turn I can move up one and then shoot. That might not be the killing blow. But we want to kill this before it starts spewing out more scouts that we then have to kill. Oh, you did the thing where you run out. Um, is this a hill tile? It looks like a hill to me. It is. So if I move up there, it will end my turn. Alright, I'm going to stay in position with the slinger. I'm going to... Oh, that won't get a kill. I really need to get the kill with this guy. Alright, I'm going to smash you. Last game, what? Three? Four things survived with one hit point? I don't see any red left in this bar. Do you? I don't think we can get the actual number count. God damn it. Well, the Slinger's not going to rip. Unless the Barbarians can get promoted. Well, that'll still end his turn. There's no way this can do enough damage. What I'm mostly worried about is the Barbarian's going to decide to suicide against the Warrior. And be like, deny me my thing. But I'm betting he goes back into his little encampment. Yeah, there's a lot of good spots. And yeah, I think some people are saying we could do it on coast to get the Eureka. That's absolutely true. I have two movement left. That's not enough to cross a river. So to cross a river, you always need your full, full movement? Well, I guess I'll go here. That's weird. I'll go here. Oh, good. We went from being adjacent to one relatively aggressive. I don't think America would have declared war on us if I hadn't told them, F off, I'm going to settle over here. I think we could have been bros with America. So I could have played that differently. Congo was going to attack me no matter what. These guys are probably going to attack me. Where are they? Over here. Not far from where I want to build my city. <clears throat> That's their capital, so they probably... Assuming they start with that settler, they probably expanded the other way. Which... I guess is good. God damn it. Alright, you better not suicide against the warrior or I'd be so mad. Okay, you actually just didn't move. You spawned another scout, which is kind of annoying. Alright, I'm going to get the scout the kill here. Eureka towards archery. Excellent. And in fact, I'm going to switch my research over to archery right away. You are just going to fortify until healed. At least you have a bottleneck not going to be flanked from multiple directions. That's true. That's true. We're on a very long continent here. I'm hoping I can get get some territory. Uh, with that in mind, I think it's time to start on our, our settler. Um, which means... Oops. You know what? This is fine. So, we're not getting the boost with craftsmanship. Which is actually okay because we're, we're far away from actually building a builder. And we'll be able to um, have Ilkum to get a discount to building our builders when that comes up. Alright, you... What do we want to do here? Alright, I'm going to slinger you. And attack. Is there any chance the remaining scout will have enough hit points to kill my warrior? It feels very unlikely, especially me being on a hill. And having higher strength. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Alright, what you're going to do is you're going to move towards the direction of where I want to settle. We want to make sure no barbarian starts spawning over there. Weirdly or annoyingly. So I'm going to do that. Oh god, so many good city locations. Probably won't get them. Not gonna, if I took the camp, it would have uh, ended my turn. Well, yeah, then nothing could spawn. But it just spawned a scout.
Right, my slinger doesn't have zone of control. Curses. Well, at least now he can't go and, like, spawn crazy bad guys. So we're going to go and end our turn adjacent to this thing, and we'll pop it next turn. So far, the north is clear. Oh, oh there, look at that. Barbarian encampment spawned. I don't know if you find out about it when it spawns or when you meet one of the units from it. So I guess I'll go here. So you can't move backwards. Uh, you're going to take your promotion with Battle Cry. That's going to be fine. You're going to go and do that. You've got a promotion after. Hey, another scout! Um, then I'm going to move to here and potentially help box this guy in. Because scouts do have a zone of control. That is very bottlenecky. And this is coast as well. Like, if I settled here, Without how safe would I be? Inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. All right. Um, I will be building a set. Or, um, hang on. Let me see what our next tech looks like. Seven turns. So how much to my settler? Five turns. Because I will be building a builder after the settler, most likely. But it looks like we'll be able to switch our policies again soon enough. So I'll just research military tradition and then I'll switch to Ilkum at that point. Um, I haven't checked these tiles to see what E is working. Right, he does that, which I think is fine. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Well, actually, right now, because we've got the 50% growth penalty, I'm even wondering, like, let me just unlock the tiles and see what we can get. Five turns regardless. This will give us a little bit of extra money, because we're not growing right now, so... Okay, that seems okay. You're basically healed up. I'm still thinking of, like, keeping a guy parked over here. Or maybe here, to respond. Alright, that's right, I forgot you still exist. Um, you're gonna get a promotion. Volley, so you heal up. Good. Archery four turns away. Um, I'm gonna move here. Again, my goal is to try to keep this guy boxed in. So, the only places you can move are zone of control zones. And we will have to go clear this out. But, I'll be able to do it with an archer. Which is gonna be good. 50% growth penalty. Um, oh, I'm wrong. Actually, I've got more housing capacity here. My bad. I'm thinking of the last game where we had a cap of four housing. When you are one short of your housing capacity, you get a 50% growth penalty. But we are not there. My, my housing capacity is actually six. So I could decide to focus more on growth here. But I think it's okay if we have... Well, this is a really shit tile. I, I understand that the game is weighting the goal a little higher. I mean, it's still 33 turns to grow, but... At least we've got a little bit of it. Yeah, we'll do that. Zona control doesn't extend across river. Oh, that explains a couple of things. Wow. All right. So now I'm not sure what I want to do with the warrior. Because, I mean, I can't go up here. I'm wondering about just starting and moving here. Well, I guess I'll move him here regardless. It opens up some options. There's our Pantheon. Um, did, I'm sorry. Did someone else take the Tundra one? Someone else took the Tundra one. Okay. That's interesting. So, what do we have? We do have a lot of silver. We've got one fish. We don't have anything very clear, do we? Divine Spark's always fun. Faith from mines over luxury and bonus resources. Well, our silver mines could give us faith with this. Plus one production from mines over strategic resources. I think more production is probably okay. Gypsum is a quarry? What gypsum? That's Mercury. Religious Idols. Yeah, I think Religious Idols or God of Craftsmen, because we will have a lot of mines on strategic resources in our capital.
I think I'm taking God of Craftsmen. Silver isn't strategic. Oh, strategic. Strategic. Right. So the Rodillo style, because it's a luxury one. All right, done. Thank you. Strategic, yes. I was just thinking resource or forgetting that there's a difference that luxury is not strategic. You're going to come over here. You're probably not doing anything useful. Come this way. Oh, no, your your usefulness is going to be in two turns. You're going to become a freaking archer. We, at some point, we've got to exp um, escort that. And again, we do have the barbarian encampment here. So where am I going to settle the city is an interesting question. It could be right on the coast, which gives us a Eureka. Um, or it could be down here, which is still pretty goddamn choke pointy. I could actually do a fairly forward expansion, rush down here right away. You know, the wheat, the everything is really good. Either settling on the, the south coast here, which is pretty strong. Settling next to the river, which is also good. And then makes it a little bit maybe more annoying for her units to move around. Although I'm a little scared about being uh, that close. This is like potentially one of the strongest city locations. It's a little far away from home. Make sure this guy... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's still the same guy we're running away. He's not spawning something new. Um... Move here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're gonna attack him. And you're also gonna attack him. Uh, I think from here. Yeah, yeah, from here. Oh, I can't because it's uphill. Right, that's fine. No worries. You can fit three cities in there. One north coast, one river, one southwest coast. Yeah, that is absolutely true. The question is which one do we do first? So... Let's get some map pins. So we got ideas like this could be A as an example. Uh, what else we got? Um, something like this, call it B. Add a map pin. Um, something like here, C. You could move it around, try a few different things. I mean, we don't have to be adjacent to the mountain. It's not like uh, Civ Five where you'd want to build an observatory, so it's not the same sort of level of importance. I guess then the question is, what do we, what can we do sort of inside here? Probably something like this, because it would get the river. Yeah, there's a fair amount of overlap with Saint Petersburg, but it's hardly the end of the world. C should be one over to the right. So let me call this one C Two for debate. Uh, yeah, the freshwater map might also help clarify some things. But, I mean, obviously there's no freshwater here. There is here. There is there. And there's none here. But coastal is still good. The pure inland one would be kind of rough. So, if C2 is over to the right, that's not as choke pointing. And I'm really worried about that with Scythia. I think we take C as a more defensive option. Uh, from, from these two sites. C as opposed to C2. Over here, I could put B across the river, which would be more defensive. But then it really does start to encroach with a, the pretty natural city position over here. And I, I kind of dig that. We will potentially have to scout out the rest of this peninsula here. If there's a bunch more sea resources, then we might end up doing something like... Um, like an A2 over here or something like that. A2, Brute? Settle a city to block the choke from Scythia. Yeah. I, I kind of dig C first. I'm going to get rid of C2, because it's not consideration. B is the best city. Not quite as defensive. Might lead to more pressure. If I take C first, she might steal B on us. On the other hand, we have a good ability to attack B if we want. So that's where I'm leaning. I think I'm going to settle C first. And a lot of people in the chat are saying that. Excellent. I'm feeling very comfortable with that. that, that. We know there's no barbarian encampments over here. I'm feeling really good. Yep. B2 tiles to the left. I, I suppose that's true. Let me put a mark in there. Call it uh, B2. Becomes a little bit more overlappy with A, but that's hardly a problem. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. Uh, okay, first of all, while I could upgrade you to an archer, what I'm going to do is move here, which won't end my turn, so I can finish off that goddamn scout. And yeah, you're going to come over here and just make sure there's no more barbarian spawns that happen there that catch me off guard. And let me put in a map pin. Say, tell you what, I'm going to call this B3. Oh, it didn't stick. B2. 
B3. There we go. So we can discuss that. But I think I'm going to go to C first. Move here. Attack. Move here. 